All right, folks, welcome back. Um, I'm here to do another video. I had another request to come in on how to calculate isotopic abundance and basically from those isotopic abundance, um, see where we get the mass that is on the periodic table. So let's go ahead and look at this problem. Um, here, um, we're dealing with oxygen and we're dealing with, uh, well, some math. So let's go ahead and just get started. Oxygen is the most abundant element in both Earth's crust and the human body. The atomic masses of its three stable isotopes is the following. We've got isotope uh, 16 oxygen, isotope 17 oxygen, and isotope 18 oxygen and these are their percentages okay this is 99.757 percent this is uh, 0 0.038 percent and 0 0.205 percent so needs to say there is a whole lot of oxygen 16 isotope um, so let's see what we can do with this um, the first thing that we need to know is basically that this number goes to isotope 16, this number goes to isotope 17, this number goes to isotope 18, and these are the percentages. Now let's discuss percentages just for a second, do a quick math review. If you remember uh, from early, early, early on math, um, it may be a while since you've done percent calculations, um, but remember that if you're dealing with something like uh, 28.435% and you're needing to convert this into a decimal, uh, what you will do is you will swing the decimal twice here, and that would give you 0 0.28 four three five now if you don't like the swinging method that's fine what you can do is you can take this twenty eight point four three five percent and basically think of it like this you're going to take this twenty eight point four three five and you're going to divide it by a hundred and that will give you your decimal of zero point two eight four three five now if I was you I would write this down for your example uh, and everything so make sure you oh I will steeze oh whew, I broke it off huh that's good but anyway uh, that's how you convert a percentage into a decimal so write this down for an example that way you have it all right let's go ahead and get started with our our problem let me erase this and get this out of our way all right what we have then is this first number this uh, let me write circle this in blue here we've got this 15.9949 we're going to take it and we're going to multiply it by this percentage but remember before we can multiply it, we really need this to be in a decimal form so we're going to take uh, 15.9949 and we're going to multiply it by, remember swing the decimal twice, 0 0.99757. Okay. Now, that one is done. Okay. We need to do the other two now. We have uh, isotope 17 to deal with now. So let's look at it. We have uh, this 16. 0.9991 and we're going to multiply it with this percentage here but remember we need to convert this percentage into a decimal meaning where we don't have this percent sign anymore okay so let's do that we have 16.9991 and we're going to swing this decimal twice now this is where it gets tricky so watch please 0 0.038 swing it twice okay 
So that's one swing, that's two swings. So we need to have a zero here, a decimal, and another zero. Okay, so we have zero point zero 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 three eight. Close your parentheses. Last but not least, we need to take this seventeen point nine 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 two and use it on this percentage here. Remember, we got to swing it twice as well. Okay, so we're going to take the zero point two oh five percent, and we're going to swing the decimal twice. That's one swing. That's two swings. Ooh, that's hard to see. So we'll have a zero, a decimal, and another zero here. Okay. So let's go ahead and write that down. We have seventeen point nine 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 two and we're going to multiply it with uh, that percentage of zero point zero zero two zero five remember close your parentheses all right now let's go ahead and multiply these together on a, on a cheat later because in all honesty, I don't want to do it by hand right now. Okay. All right. So let's use our calculator. We have uh, 15. Oh. Point nine nine four nine, and we're going to multiply it with zero point nine nine seven five seven. Make sure you punch everything in right. 15.9949 times 0 0.99757 press enter and there's our answer now uh, we will have 15 point oh, need to bring that back up 956 956 03 uh, 239 Two, three, nine. Okay. Uh, once again, we need to do the same uh, with the next one. We have sixteen. Whoops. Oh, the calculator is not responding. I need to reset it. So, give me a second, folks, while I reset the calculator. It was becoming unresponsive. That happens from uh, time to time. I did not mean to shrink the calculator on us, though. Okay. All right, we have uh, sixteen point nine 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 one times zero point zero 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 three eight. Enter. We get the following. We get zero point uh, zero zero. Six, four, five, nine, six, five, eight. Okay. And the last one down here. <laughs> We've got uh, 17. And once again, the calculator needs to be reset. Okay. Let me enlarge it a little bit again, the way it was before it shrunk on us. We have seventeen point nine 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 two times zero point zero zero uh, two zero five. Press enter. Well, make sure you got everything right. Seventeen point nine 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 two times zero point zero zero two oh five. We're good. Press enter. When you write this number down. Uh, Zero point, I believe it was zero, three six, eighty nine, eighty three, and I believe that last digit was a six. Yeah, a six. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, let's just go ahead and finish the calculation. What we need to do 
is uh, punch this into a, a calculator. My TI-83 just conked out on me. I'm just going to go ahead and use a simple calculator. We've got 15.95603239 plus 0 0.0064. Whoops, 6459658 plus 0 0.0368983. Six, and round this to uh, four decimal places we would get 15.9994 so let's go ahead and write that uh, 15.9994 and since we're dealing with uh, AMUs here atomic mass units AMUs here and we're dealing with uh, percent abundance uh, but sometimes you'll see the word fractional abundance be used here. Um, just be sure uh, to pay attention to see if they say it's percentage or not. Because sometimes they will just give you a decimal and they will not tell you that it was a uh, percentage. They'll just say fractional. And if they say it's fractional, then it's just the decimal. They've already converted the percentage into a decimal for you. So pay really close attention to that. So, anyway, our answer is 15.99. Nine four uh, AMUs, and remember that this was for oxygen. So, anyway, guys, I hope that this was helpful, and uh, let me know if y'all need anything else. All right, have a great day.